Hello and welcome to another episode of our special series, Beating All Odds. COVID-19 has confined us to our homes for another three weeks. These are very difficult times to run our businesses. In our special series, we at Exchange for Media are bringing to you leaders who can help us navigate our way through these difficult times. Today, we are speaking to Rubina Singh, CEO I Prospect India. Welcome to the show, Rubina. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me over and hope you and your family are healthy and safe. Thank you so much. We wish you the same. You know, these are very challenging times for everyone. Uh, how are you ensuring that your business... First, tell me what, what, what is the kind of impact this has happened, uh, this has uh, had on your business, this lockdown? Oh, well, like in the case uh, of most people, I think the impact has been uh, massive. It came in suddenly. It was something which is it is something which is unprecedented. Something we had never imagined, which is uh, which would happen. But the fact of the matter is, the clients that we work with, a lot of them, uh, their supply chains are broken. Uh, obviously, um, they're not able to reach out to their customers. There are no footfalls in their stores, and businesses are impacted at large. Uh, because of which, uh, there is obviously an impact to the business that uh, we run at iProspect as well, which is digital marketing, helping our clients with their digital marketing efforts. Um, so yes, there has been an impact, but at the same point in time, uh, we are quickly working on areas where we think we can help clients and trying to also see how we can uh, pivot our business uh, into other areas where uh, there could be an opportunity. Uh, so that's how we are dealing with. So to talk a little bit through what we're doing with clients, you know, because our current clients are our foremost priority at this point in time. Uh, we understand for them also, uh, there is a lot of uncertainty in and anxiety. Um, the routines um, have disappeared. Uh, there is a feeling of an apprehension for them also. Um, and, you know, in general, the 24 hour news reports that we consume also lead to a lot of anxiety and fear for our businesses. So I think what is more important for us is to be able at least to give some amount of reliability on the work that they depend on us for. Uh, we have made sure that what we deliver to them um, is done bang on time and correctly. Um, there are daily updates and connections happening with clients. Um, uh, there are, uh, you know, there are weekly meetings uh, happening with them, weekly calls happening with them and the fact of the matter is the because we're not able to do uh, face to face meetings which we otherwise do um, you know we're trying to see how we can stay connected more than less in uh, by using uh, you know calls or even video calls very very effectively on the other part that i mentioned um, was at i prospect um, you know, we've tried to also get into another area of business. We all know that, you know, uh, while um, there has been uh, a significant impact on our, all our businesses, um, there's always an opportunity that comes with every crisis. That's what I really believe. And the opportunity that has come to us is that most people have a lot of time on hand currently. And that time, to my mind, can be best utilized uh, in learning something. And uh, as we all know today, digital has become the center of our lives, right? Whether it's uh, connecting with our friends and family or the world outside at large, or whether it's as professionals giving us the flexibility to work from home, or even as businesses, uh, it's perhaps uh, the easiest way to be able to connect to your customers. So what we at iProspect are doing is uh, we're building a program uh, which will help which we believe will help build a stronger digital ecosystem by sharing uh, knowledge and providing the hand-on insights that we have, uh, you know, got working with real world problems of our uh, clients. And we're doing this in form of holding uh, educational webinars, which we kicked off last week, which was the first one on paid media. And as we speak, um, you know, we are doing one uh, tomorrow as well. We um, got a fantastic response uh, on the webinar that we did last week and uh, the plan is to continue it into now different modules we've started with the beginner module but we, as we go forward we'll get into um, you know intermediate and pro as well and hopefully by as things resume back to normalcy i hope that soon uh, but also start another uh, perhaps education uh, vertical uh, within the iProspect brand 
So after uh, you've, you've spoken about clients, uh, employees are equally important, and uh, they are they are also some of them are also anxious. There is uh, there are news coming in of pay cuts from everywhere, layoffs. Uh, what kind of confidence building measures are you taking for your clients right now, for your employees right now? I, I think, um, you know, you're right. Um, these are very uncertain times and uh, people are bound to feel um, at different points in time, you know, you feel uh, uh, sometimes sad, sometimes you feel stressed, sometimes you feel uh, a bit scared as well, right? It's bound to happen to all of us. I think what we are trying to do is uh, to help keep the morale of the employees high is the first thing is that uh, celebrate contributions, right? Whether they're small or big, I think just recognizing and appreciating uh, some great work uh, that is coming through, to my mind, is the most uh, simple, cost-effective and direct way to boost the morale. Apart from that, I think what happens in offices is that we have a lot of um, water cooler conversations, right? Um, but currently we're feeling all feeling a bit isolated and therefore uncertain on what is really going to happen. So we are actually trying to make a conscious effort uh, to start, um, uh, you know, chatting with our colleagues frequently, just catching up on their day generally as friends, not so much on work, beyond work as well, um, whether it's through phone calls, but more importantly, we are also trying to uh, do a lot of video calls uh, because all of us, you know, we are uh, pretty excited to see each other. We would take that, we took it for granted that we would be with each other for most of our waking hours. But uh, now we're trying to, uh, we, you know, we understand the importance of it and how much joy that brings to us. And now, you know, we're trying to stay connected. What we're also doing is uh, we're trying to build, um, you know, continue the culture that we had. Um, in whatever small ways that we can. So for instance, in I prospect, you know, we had this uh, tradition of uh, um, fun Fridays. What fun Friday is simple, it's time to unwind together at the office, you know, and we believed it helped us create better relationships at work, iron out issues if you may have had during the week um, with a colleague of yours. It generally would lower stress levels and create that happy atmosphere in the office. And, you know, we'll just hang out as friends. So we were missing that a lot. So we did a video call, uh, you know, about uh, the Friday before last with the whole iProspect team just to say hello as friends and chit-chat. I was so good to see um, everybody. And I can also tell you um, it was a really energizing experience and uh, the productivity of the team. And, you know, I could see that go up by the sheer number of WhatsApp messages that started happening between our internal groups, client groups. So small things like that. Uh, I know at a Dan level also, um, uh, the HR team is doing a great job. Uh, one is we have, uh, like I said earlier, we have time. So to invest uh, that time into our hobbies, passions as well. So we are holding a show, uh, you know, an internal uh, sort of show, which is called Dan's Got Talent. So that's what the HR team is putting together. Um, but more importantly, we also understand that um, the pressures um, and the stress levels some of us are facing, uh, you know, because of the restricted um, environment that we're currently operating uh, under could be immense. And while talking to friends, family, people we trust in general can help um, at an organizational level to help cope with the stress, um, you know, we're planning a wellness program. So the first session is actually scheduled uh, tomorrow with a sound healer. Uh, she's a wholesome um, life coach and she uses um, energy healing uh, through sound instruments, you know, for spontaneous relaxation and meditation. So these are some of the initiatives that uh, we are doing to uh, keep the environment positive and lift up the spirits of our team members. Coming back to your clients, uh, I, I was going through the list and I uh, found you have a lot of BSFI clients. And this sector uh, is, uh, I mean, not very active, but it's still visible when I see a television or particularly on digital media. Uh, Access recently did a campaign, uh, which is which became pretty popular. So how are you handling your uh, clients from this particular sector? 
Well, I would say uh, we are we are fortunate that our uh, portfolio has been always uh, dominant with uh, BFSI, and um, these are essential services, right? Banks are still open and they are functioning as normal. If I look at uh, insurance, in fact, uh, health insurance and uh, life insurance um, have actually the searches and the businesses are actually increasing in times of these crises. Um, so yes, this uh, sector has not been impacted as much uh, by, uh, by the current crisis, vis-a-vis -vis some of the others, like in travel, hospitality, e-com, and so on and so forth. Um, so there are the opportunities, um, that, and relevant contextual opportunities uh, that we are working with our clients in, in this sector. But you also have uh, tourism clients. What are you doing with them? Um, actually, um, you know, to be honest, uh, we've not been very heavy on that category. We've got a few of them, maybe a couple of them. You have Swiss uh, tourism, right? Yes. And uh, I think um, clients are also being sensitive and we are also sensitizing them on uh, how the consumer uh, behavior is at the moment and what is the mood and how will that information be palatable. So some very interesting campaigns have been uh, designed with very um, uh, relevant communication to be able to uh, stay connected with the customers. Uh, say, um, that I understand this is a situation which is very difficult, but I, we are all hopeful that at some point in time we will get past this. And at that point in time, we don't want to be completely, um, you know, uh, not in touch with your uh, customers. So uh, while it can be lesser than usual business as usual days, but it is important for brands to stay interconnected with customers, especially on digital, where Today, the maximum sp time spent is really on digital media. And there are various reports, which I'm sure you have access to, which is saying that consumption uh, on digital media has gone through the roof. Um, so this, there is an opportunity for clients uh, to be able to um, you know, um, stay connected with their customers through the digital media at prices sometimes which, were, which are far more economical today because of the demand supply situation. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis what it was, let's say, six weeks ago. Uh, Rubina, I also want to understand. You, you must, you, you understand digital better than most of us. What are the kind of uh, consumption patterns that you're noticing, and do you think it will change the way we consume digital? I mean, these this lockdown because uh, consumption has increased. So, would like newspapers have now become digital? You know, everyone is most of the people are consuming newspapers on digital. What kind of uh, changes do you expect once the lockdown is over? Behavioral changes in consumers. I definitely think it is going to be a huge change in consumer behavior. Uh, you know, uh, after this lockdown, one is that uh, digital was always centerpiece, and the customer, you know, the consumers and the users were always there. I think marketers didn't. Um, uh, you know, leverage this medium to its fullest. Um, I think today, because of the business situation, uh, they're also realizing uh, that, you know, this is becoming a medium which is going to be far more effective in reaching their customers directly. Uh, so sometimes, like you say, you know, to give you an analogy, everybody knows um, that, uh, you know, for working women, life is difficult, uh, balancing between home and family, right? Uh, but today, when you see uh, women, you know, or even for the men folk, when they see the women working at home, cooking, looking after families, also managing their work, they're able to understand that power better. Than this, this again, something wrong with the video. Well, they always knew, yes, digital is grown and it's like a uh, I can hear you absolutely clearly and see you absolutely Yeah, yeah now it's fine. Uh, there was just okay. one second glitch, yeah. Okay. So what I was really saying is while marketers always knew this, that digital has become centerpiece and it is uh, where all the customers is, today's situation has forced them to, uh, you know, kind of uh, use it as a medium as effectively and large it is currently to be able to, you know, deliver their messages, which are not just acquiring customers, but also top funnel uh, objectives. If I, if I talk of percentages, how much uh, growth do you think 
uh, that's sweet. Let her let her be there. We all know we're working. <laughs> so, how, how much growth do you think uh, we will see eventually uh, in in consumption patterns in digital after this lockdown? I mean, it's it is number and to say anything right now. Can you can you hear me right now? I can hear you, but I think can you yeah. hear me right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I think it's hard to make any guesses right now, but uh, I definitely see uh, that there is going to be a positive impact on the digital channels uh, for sure. I think from a customer's point of view, because I think they, uh, you know, they're going to use it more. And uh, also from, and as customers also, currently we want anything, we are trying to use digital, right? So I think we are adopting it much faster as well. Uh, not just for consumption of media, but transactions as well. And uh, for businesses also, uh, while they're realizing that um, even, you know, this uh, this whole situation, even one, once the lockdown opens, they're going to be like uh, the Prime Minister said today, there are going to be steps in which it will be released. I don't think people will immediately go back to their normal uh, behavior of uh, getting out to the stores as quickly. It is going to take some time to get back to that normalcy. Uh, in that time, I think uh, both customers and marketers will leverage this medium hugely effective. I know it's definitely going to be a, a big positive upswing. Putting numbers to it at this point in time is going to be a very hard task. So before we close, I would want you to uh, say something uh, for the youngsters of the industry, you know, who have just uh, maybe they started their career this year or somebody who started uh, their own digital uh, agency this year. So what would you like to give a piece of advice, you know, from an expert like you? Uh, uh, well, I'm no expert. I think I... Much senior, you know, definitely much senior to uh, But I... <laughs> Yes, but I, I have always believed that every cloud has a silver lining and there is some opportunity in every adversity. Uh, so see the brighter th uh, side of things, invest in learning, see where the opportunities are and build on it. Uh, I think those of us who are in the digital space uh, are still better off than many other people because I think this is a space um, which will be or which even currently uh, is less impacted than some of the other mediums. When if I look at, for instance, um, our form or people who work in the events business, right? right. Uh, so this opportunity, so stay positive, stay focused, invest in learning, uh, invest this time of thinking through uh, new ideas, finding new opportunities and build on them and stay positive and safe. Rubina, thank you so much for talking to us and taking uh, your time out. I'm sure this interview will inspire many young people. Stay at home and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. And sorry thank about the interruption. That is working from home. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Thank Bye. you so much. Thanks. Bye.